Nga waka o taikehu, meheka huikataha kapitai. This ancient proverb likens the many canoes on the Waitemata to shoals of herring shimmering as they break the water's surface. The ancient name for the Auckland Isthmus is Tamaki Makoro, which means Tamaki, desired by many lovers. There is so much of our heritage we need to celebrate and share with those who are Auckland's lovers today. This way, we can connect more deeply with the land, the sea, and the skies. Te Waka is an exciting interactive visitor experience telling the unique story of our journey, who we are as a nation, how we got here, and what makes up our identity from the first footprints on the shores of Aotearoa, the last landmass to be discovered on Earth over 800 years ago. Te Waka will become the largest tourist attraction in Auckland. It is envisaged it will live alongside other activities such as cruise ships, boating, entertainment, food, beverage, and public amenities that line the waterfront. It will provide benefits of new employment across our many cultures, especially for our youth, and provide tourists with a reason to extend their stay in Auckland, encouraging them to spend more time exploring the Waitemata Harbour, reflecting on our maritime and Pacific heritage. Te Waka will become a catalyst to other experiences in places such as the Horeki Gulf, the Auckland and Maritime Museums, and Kelly Tarleton's Underwater World. Visitors will be encouraged to enjoy our many restaurants, to visit our local traditional marais, cultural events and markets that make up Auckland's greater areas in the South, East, West and North Auckland regions, increasing their awareness of these communities. This major attraction will help to satisfy the overall demand for cultural experiences from growing visitor numbers to Auckland both domestically and internationally, and will create a positive impact on the regional and domestic economies of New Zealand. Without exception, all of those community stakeholders who have been consulted over this concept have indicated a strong need to see Te Waka proceed. The designs have been inspired to create cultural encounters, where people experience the discovery of Aotearoa, its flora, fauna, and islands through live interaction with our Polynesian peoples. A 30-metre dome planetarium theatre will house a life-size waka, which will take 50 people on a 15-minute, under-the-stars virtual reality experience across the Pacific Ocean in search of new southern lands in a double-hulled, handcrafted sailing vessel over 800 years ago. A large-scale public family seafood restaurant will be set on the stunning Water's Edge site with views through a tropical coral reef representing the Pacific Island waters. Within the enclosure, visitors will experience traditional live carving and weaving demonstrations, sound effects, and visual exhibitions based on the famous Vaka Moana voyage exhibition that toured the world. The Pacific Ocean, which embraces a third of the planet, appears empty, featureless, and threatening. But the early Pacific peoples thought of it differently as a place to nurture and respect as home. The audience will see and experience the animals they saw on their arrival to this land, including fur seals, full-size holographic moa, and giant harst eagles appearing on stage through to the still-living raptors and the New Zealand falcon. These exciting shows will be shown four times daily, interspersed with colourful live Pacific Island cultural performances. It will be illuminated at night in soft Pacific Ocean coloured light, a beacon or modern lighthouse in the heart of the city. Unlike anything ever seen before in New Zealand, this will be recognised internationally as representing our unique culture and heritage as proud New Zealanders living in the largest Polynesian city in the world, affectionately referred to as the City of Sails. This is Tawaka Pacific Discovery and Settlement, 
the unique culture of Aotearoa. It is time to tell this exciting and unique story to the world. <laughs>